you're not currently soldering, this would be a video that will help you out, I'm sure. Uh, just wanted to talk about uh, soldering. I know we got a lot of stuff here. It might look confusing, but ultimately all you really need is a soldering iron and some solder. Uh, can't stress enough the importance of having the right tools for the, for the job. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about, some basic uh, soldering and techniques and uh, what types of tools to use. You want to start with a, a good soldering iron. Uh, a lot of off-brand soldering irons just uh, will get uh, get you aggravated. And uh, so, really important to get a good soldering iron. Uh, base units allow you to make some modifications and changes to the temperature. Uh, the ones that plug straight into the wall, they're like a fixed temperature and sometimes can be difficult to deal with. They're perfect for track, I think. Uh, good, good for track because uh, they're pretty mobile. You can move them around pretty easy. Uh, on this unit, the uh, soldering tip is a little bit smaller than you usually find on some of those. It's got a cleaning pad, a uh, place for extra tips here. It's uh, a pretty nice unit. I use a bench soldering iron. Gives me a uh, the ability to change my temperature for different things and uh, different types of solder because I have several different applications on the bench so a uh, bench uh, solder and iron is uh, absolutely it for me I'll move this over to do my track or whatever I need to do just as long as uh, I'm able to adjust my temperature I'm in great shape you can find these fairly reasonable on the web the holder itself, you can move wherever you want. It's got the cord that goes back to the base. Uh, there's several different tips that you can use with these. Uh, it's small. It's kind of like a pin. It, uh, it's easy to hold. It's got. It uh, doesn't get hot. Like on the part that you hold here, it's a nice padded. It stays really cool. Now for the base unit, it uh, again you can set the the temperature using the dial. It uh, shows you what temperature you have it set at, and uh, then it'll show you what temperature it's at when you first turn it on. Right now it's coming up to temperature, which is set at 700. It uh, doesn't take long to get there. This Weller does really good at uh, keeping the temperature. One thing a lot of new uh, people that are using soldering irons don't realize is that uh, you do lose some temperature when you uh, use your soldering irons. So as you go to solder, you uh, touch something and you see the temperature come down. And uh, if you continue on it and just keep on it, you'll keep bringing the temperature down. And uh, so you really want to try and give your soldering iron time to to uh, work yeah. give it time to heat up and this one actually again I know I'm bragging about this bench uh, soldering iron but uh, it does a really good job holding the temperature talking about solder using different types of solder I use two different kinds of solder um, for the bench and for anything else uh, one solder I use is a uh, 1.5 diameter 60-40 lead 10 uh, and the second one that I use is a uh, 1 millimeter diameter 60-40 lead 10 but you can't uh, you can't go wrong using the right solder and this is very very important so many people uh, become so frustrated with uh, using solder uh, using their solder and iron is a lot of times because they just don't have their their rods of core solder or their flex based solder these two uh, my smaller diameter the one millimeter is uh, 2.5 percent flux and my 1.5 is a uh, two percent flux so buying the right solder is important uh, 
you want to make sure that uh, when you do that you get the 60-40 mixes and the mixes only pertain to uh, the uh, different types of solder and for the stuff that we do we never need silver uh, it's for really high tech um, maybe surface mount tiny stuff uh, government work maybe but uh, make sure you get the right uh, mix of solder 60-40 the difference in the diameter here is uh, on the left is the uh, 1.5 and the right is 1 millimeter. Uh, to, to apply the right amount of solder, you need the right uh, thickness. Uh, diameter matters when you're when you're soldering. Uh, thicker diameter is going to apply more solder, and the uh, smaller one's going to apply less solder. So, small objects or small things that you're trying to solder, you want to use a smaller diameter track and things like that, you'll use a larger diameter. And be safe when you're soldering. Uh, don't let the fumes go into your face and uh, use a box fan or something blow the fumes out of the way. Uh, it, it, you know, just be safe. Use eye protection. I use uh, these, these glasses here. They're actually reading glasses, but this is what I use. It helps magnify what I'm soldering uh, but uh, just use some kind of a fan or something to circulate the air and uh, some type of eye protection when you're uh, soldering good maintenance on your iron is also important uh, this is called tinning the iron you do this to keep your iron in good shape also gives it uh, the ability to make good contact and so you just apply a little bit of solder to the tip uh, like so and then you uh, clean it off and this gives you a uh, nice, clean, workable uh, iron. And uh, as long as we're talking about tips here, just real quick, they have several different tips. What I use is a uh, called the chisel tip. This is the tip on your right. The one on the left, I stay away from. I just get these in packs, uh, so I get these needle point. The chisel tips work great for soldering on. Uh, PC boards, uh, they they allow you to uh, dis distribute the, the heat well. With the pointed ones, you just you can't get the heat down there to melt the pad to, to get the uh, components in there. And when you're working with your uh, electronics and soldering, you want to have something to hold it. This is uh, one of my one two three blocks with a clamp. This is what I use. A lot of people use what they call a third hand, which works great too. Well, this is what I use. So. Using a one, two, three block gives me a bunch of different options with different types of clamps. Using it this way in any kind of holes or I can get any kind of configuration I want, which is really nice. Uh, put it wherever I want and get soldered.